MMC is back on the road again. This time, Tony is making waves in Dubuque, Iowa. I'm here on the banks of the Mississippi in Dubuque, Iowa. This is where they hold the annual Dragon Boat Races. It's just a big river festival, and I'm hanging out with some participants and spectators, and I'm going to find out what this is all about. I've got three experts here on Dragon Boat Racing, and I, I'm curious, you guys. I've been asking people all day, what is the secret about the dragon? Why do they use the dragon? And I want an expert point of view. <laughs> experts. Give him a minute. Hey, with all these people around here, how tough can it be to find someone to explain all these dragons to you? Why'd they pick a dragon? I have no idea. I don't know. You know, I, I really don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't really know. Finally, I met up with a woman who knew everything you ever wanted to know about Dragon Boat Racing. Okay, I'm here with Sue Smith, and she's the one who founded Dragon Boat Racing in the Midwest. And uh, just tell us a little bit about the origin of, of Dragon Boat Racing and why they brought it to Dubuque. Well, let's see, uh, Dragon Boat Racing is originating from China, and um, in 1983, I was running America's Longest Canoe Trip, trying to make it international, and I decided what I'd do is uh, have an exchange between Chinese Dragon Boat Racers and canoeists on the Mississippi River. What would be the secret to having a successful team? Would it be a, a good boat, a good crew? What would it be? See, the boat has nothing to do with it, because wherever you Dragon Boat race, everything's provided and everything's equal. Standard. So it all has to do with the team, and the real key seems to be synchronization and a team spirit, where nobody acts as an individual, but you're like one machine. Yeah. People come from all over the world to race dragon boats down the Duke stretch of the Mississippi River. But before the racing can begin, a traditional ceremony must be performed to awaken the dragon. is one of those sports that takes a while before you figure out what position you like best. First, I tried paddling with the crew. Next, I took my turn on the drum to help the paddlers keep their rhythm. But the best part was grabbing the flag at the finish. Festival's a great time. I mean, there's lots of competition, but the people still manage to have an incredible time. I've learned a lot, and I hope you have too. But for now, I gotta get back on the road. Take it easy.